Why? Because I'm a perfume junkie. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Patty. For those of you who do not know, hence the name of my channel, Phenomenally Patty. And today we are back with another fragrance video. And we are going to be doing a review of the Sephora perfume sampler. So Shout out to my sissy. So the way I found out about this box was actually my sister. Shout out to you. She sent me a Twitter thread of the girls talking about how you can get this sampler box and get a free full size. You heard what I said? A free full size bottle of perfume of one of the perfumes that's in this set. And I believe there is 14. I'll have the total down here for sure. And we are going to review them. And guys, look at this box. It's so, so beautiful. I absolutely adore how it is packaged. It makes you feel like any of us could be influencers. <laughs> it's super, super nice. It has this note in it and it says, hi, beautiful. Welcome to your very own at-home fragrance experience. And we love an experience, don't we? This will guide you through how to discover your new favorite fragrances and which sample to redeem for a full size. <clears throat> In store or on Sephora.com, flip this page and you'll find an overview of all the included fragrances organized from fresh to warm. There are scent notes in a little note section so you can keep track of all your favorites. How thoughtful, absolutely adore it. So inside you have your fresh, your floral, and your warm and spicy. It has a little section where you can rate them and underneath it has the notes of the fragrances. So since they have done the work for us, we are just gonna review them in order from fresh to the floral to the warm and spicy and we are gonna talk about it. All right guys, so we're gonna get right on into it. And the first one we are starting off with is the two scents in here that are called Fresh. The first one being the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, which if you've watched some of my fragrance videos, you know that this one is a favorite of mine. I actually love the intense version of the Light Blue. I really like this a lot. It's so sexy, it's so sexy. It is so, so sexy, um, but it's, oh gosh. I think this could definitely be worn during the day or the night. This is for a girl who wants something that gives like a statement, but isn't overpowering. It's not gonna make everyone go into a sneeze attack or fit or anything like that. She is classy and sophisticated. But it's a complex fragrance. It doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled before. So the notes, it describes it as a fresh floral fruity. <laughs> to reflect the sensuality of a Mediterranean lifestyle. It has citrus and fruits. I definitely wasn't getting fruits because I think a lot of times when you think of fruity smelling <laughs> perfumes and sprays, it just makes you think of like watermelon and like artificial flavors. <laughs> but this smells so good. This is a crowd pleaser. This is definitely one of my favorites. Okay guys, so the next fragrance that we are going to smell is going to be the Versace Bright Crystal. I've seen this around for a very, very long time. The sampler is in this cute little pink <laughs> bottle. Let's see what this smells like. It's another fragrance under the fresh. If I can spray it. Let's see what this smells like. This smells to me very pretty. 
pretty. If I had to name a movie, instantly that comes to my mind, Legally Blonde, which is actually one of my favorite movies. It makes me think about a Barbie, someone who is very, very feminine, and just wants something soft. It's not super strong, not strong at all. Perfect daytime, just chilling around the house fragrance. If I had to give it a season, I would definitely say spring or summer. But you know, you wear what you like when you like it. I do like that. Okay, so now we are getting into our floral collection of scents from this sampler box. The first one is going to be, y'all know, this is a crowd pleaser, crowd favorite. This is Good Girl, okay, by Carolina Herrera. This smells amazing, I already know. Because y'all know I love perfumes and I own a little rollerball. This smells so good. Oh, y'all, I done got it on my face. Doing too much. So, one of my friends wears this fragrance, <laughs> Marissa Marissa. <laughs> and every time I smell it, it makes me think of her. It is a clean, sexy fragrance. Not too strong, it's not gonna uppercut you. She's making a statement without doing too much, which is my friend, period. Oh, that is that really describes Marissa? That's crazy. Okay, so the notes. <laughs> it's like it describes it as a warm floral. Um, it says it's brightness and femininity. The darker side is created with a richly fragrant cocoa and intoxicating tonka. That's what gives it that extra like sauce that extra sexy mm. this is great for a date night even if you're dating yourself baby it's okay this don't play with her okay so the next one we are about to smell is Valentino Volse Viva y'all know listen if I did not pronounce it correctly charge it to my head and not to my heart Oh, I can smell it without even smell. Oh, y'all know what song just came to my head? The Cardi B, she bad, she bad, she bad. Oh wow, it's. Sexy without being overly sweet. You could wear this all day long. You could wear this in an office setting. Wow, that smells good. It's a warm woody floral with fresh orange blossom. Absolute and garden gardenia. Paired with Italian bergamot and mandarin. This almost left me speechless. It's not super, super strong. Um, Y'all know I love intense fragrances. <laughs> so this is not super strong, but it doesn't need to be. This reminds me of a classy woman. She's not overtly sexual, um, but this, Wow, this smells good. This is something that if somebody left their sweater in your car or at your house, you'll be sitting there just smelling like, what was that? They walk past you, you'll be like, girl, what is that? Grown. Okay, moving on. Sorry, I got stuck on that one. The next one is going to be Chloe. Self-titled Chloe. <laughs> so I've heard a lot about this. I have never smelled it. And we are gonna get into it because I don't want to cheat and read it yet and just see what my first thoughts are. This is sweet. Definitely floral. It does not smell super unique to me. I know the girls love it, but I don't, 
I don't know why. No shade. It just doesn't smell something super unique to me. It smells very regular, very basic. It's nice, but it's just like, it's not memorable to me at all. And honestly, this could go on a younger girl. This could go on a teenage girl. Yeah, not my favorite. Okay, so the next one we are going to smell is by Giorgio Armani. And we're gonna smell my way. I'm gonna go ahead and slip Chloe to the side so I know that ain't the one for me. Okay. Okay, I've never smelled anything that smells like this. Pretty. This one also does not smell unique to me at all. Like, honestly, I don't know if you really could tell that much of a difference between Chloe and my way. But if you are a woman or a gentleman that likes a softer fragrance, I would definitely recommend those two for you. But if you want something soft and smell unique, I wouldn't choose these two. I'm kind of bummed about that actually. Okay, moving on. <laughs> the next one is Gucci and this is Flora. So let's see. What she is giving is she's giving anything at all. Okay, this one smells a little bit more unique to me. It's still soft floral fragrance. Let's read the notes. Fruity floral. This is a delicious potion of joy built around the gardenia flower blended with solar jasmine absolute. smells nice but regular I'm sorry y'all perfumes cost too much if you're gonna spend the coin spend the coin on something that's unique something that makes you feel good something make you feel like something I will wear it in the house for sure but am I gonna spend my coins on a full-size bottle I'm not. I'm not. I'm getting a little disappointed, y'all. Okay. The next one is Marc Jacobs Daisy Intense. All right, y'all. Y'all know I like a strong fragrance. So maybe this will be the one that I really like. I was struggling with that one. I think this is unique. It doesn't smell intense as like the YSL, Libre, Libre, however you like to pronounce it. Um, not intense on that level at all. But for a light floral scent, I could definitely see this being more intense than the other florals that we have talked about so far. She does smell more unique. Let's get into these notes. An unbashedly bold twist to the original perfect. An explosion of the vibrant daffodil and golden roasted almonds meets an opulent night blooming jasmine sandalwood. Okay. Celebrate the intoxicating clash of the unexpected. Perfect, just like you. Love the description. Out of all of the florals, this is my favorite. Aside from Good Girl, this will be my number two. Yes. Okay, that was a little better. All right, let's get on down to Ness Wild Poppy, which we have smelled before together. If you have watched that Ness video, this was included. I think I told y'all then, just like now, it always makes me think about Wizard of Oz when she was running through the poppy field and fell asleep. 
Okay, so this is the last one of the floral section of the samplers. And if I had to tell you the top three, I would say Good Girl, Marc Jacobs, and The Nest Wild Poppy. Those would be my recommendations for a floral perfume that's unique. It doesn't smell just like any old thing. And I think it'll be worth your coins. All right. Now we are moving on to the warmest spicy, which is giving for this season of fall. And winter, it will be soon. We're gonna start with replica. So I've also smelled this before. Y'all, I'm low-key like a perfume junkie, aren't I? That's crazy. Sexy. Bold. Let's get it on. That's what this fragrance is giving. Mmm, chestnuts roasting on an open day. That's what that's that's what it's giving. Mmm. Okay, the notes. Sorry, I got distracted. This warm stick combines orange flower, clove oil, and chestnut on top of comforting vanilla fragrance to recreate the signature warmth and coziness of crackling a fire, baby. And it does just that, and when you really smell it, you get like a little smoky. Not an intense smoky like tobacco type of smell, but just a hint, like a little. This is, this is more my vibe. Definitely fall, winter. Mm. Girl, put this on, take a, take a nice hot shower, exfoliate, put this on if you got a little situation. Get cozy, Netflix and chill it. Mm. Go out on a date, girl, yes. All right, the next one is the Prada. Prada, Prada candy. Which is crazy to me that it's called candy and it's in the warm and spicy. I would assume by the name it would be a part of the floral, but we, we gonna fill her out. When I think of candy, I think of like sweets, I think of like Skittles, Starburst. She's not giving that, she's giving a sexy candy, but not like a chocolate, but a sexy candy. That don't even make sense, does it? To me, this is definitely giving fall, winter fragrances, but daytime, something light. Not my favorite, I would not buy this personally. But it does smell good, but it's not like, Someone will tell you you smell good, but I don't think anybody will like, break their neck to ask you what you're wearing. Okay, the next one is Victor Rolf. Flower Bomb, and I know this is a favorite of the guys. The guys, the gals, the guys. I've never smelled this one before. Oh, wait a minute. When I first sprayed it, I was not feeling it. So what's crazy is when you look at this bottle, you don't, I wouldn't, I would not have thought that this smells like this. Sexy and subtle, for sure. Sexy and subtle, for sure. So floral perfume, an explosion, freesia, Jasmine and rose petals. So why is it over here warm and spicy? Because it does have a little spice to it. Okay, so honestly, I probably still would have stuck this in the floral section. And if you're looking for a unique floral, it doesn't just smell regular. This smells good. This is a contender. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so next we are going to smell YSL with like opium, which I know people love this fragrance. Mm. 
Can y'all guess which one y'all think I'm, I'm gonna get the bottle of? Mmm. I see why a lot of people like this. I do like it. It's warm and spicy. It's definitely giving me fall winter vibes, but it's chill. Okay, let's get into these notes. I stopped sniffing. It's warm and sweet gourmands. It's a seductively intoxicating fragrance with opening notes of coffee and sweet vanilla that recline into the softness of white flowers for a young modern scent. I think this could possibly be for a high school student. Hear me out. Some people say no, but I think so. For like prom or a young woman starting college. I hope that it's not fit any grown grown woman that loves this fragrance. You like what you like, but this is what it reminds me of. I would not spend my coins on it, but would I buy a rollerball? Yes. Would I buy a big old bottle of it? No. It is sexy though. I like. Okay guys. Can you guess which one I'm gonna go and get me a full size bottle of? I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm going to redeem and get the replica by the fireplace. That's gonna be the one that I choose because it is very, very sexy. It is the time of the year for it. And I already know that it layers well with some other fragrances that I have. I owe y'all a layering video, don't I? Coming soon, <laughs> coming soon. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and as a bonus, y'all know if you have like an account with Sephora, you always get at least two samples, two free samples <laughs> when you place an order and I got two sample fragrances. Why? Because I'm a perfume junkie and it was free, so. We're gonna talk about those two. So one of them that I got is Spice Bomb Night Vision by Victor Roth. And I wanna know what this smells like. Ooh! <gasps> is this a, is this, is this, is this unisex or is this? This could be a masculine fragrance or a unisex fragrance, but it is, it smells like a man, a fine man. Ooh. What is this reminding me of? My dad has a cologne like this. that smells similar to this. Where are the notes, y'all? Let me get the notes. Okay y'all, so I was right. They do have this listed, especially on Macy's in the men's category because bae, bae. You know what would smell good to me? If a man was wearing this and a woman had on by the fireplace, a replica, y'all would be that couple, okay? Y'all would walk together and people would be like, who y'all smell so good? What y'all got on? Let's get into these notes. It has sage, triple black spice, complex, roasted almonds. The scent type is described as cool spices. It has cinnamon, smooth tobacco, aged leather. Yes. <sighs> it said it exudes power and raw <laughs> sensuality. I said it's well sexy. If you have a significant other, this is perfect for the holidays. This smells good. Oh, the rub is on my pillow. And, and think of a man that don't exist, only in my mind. Smells good. Okay, y'all. Woo! 
that one took my breath away. So the next, <laughs> the next sample that I got <laughs> from Sephora, my free samples was Love by Killigan. Don't be shy. If you are into perfumes, you've heard of this, you might own this. I have never smelled it and I wanted to, so here we are. I love that it says don't be shy. I see why the girls love it. Oh my goodness. It's a scent as sweet as Turkish delight. Has orange blossom. It has orange blossom, marshmallow, and neroli. This is also giving me fall winter vibes. This is sexy, but this, 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 this would pair well with a floral on top of this. Mm. All right, y'all, I'm gonna do that layer video for real, for real. I have one more <laughs> discovery set video to do, and then the next one after that will be the layering video. <laughs> Dang, that smells good. It is unique. That is unique. I I have not smelled anything that smells like that. So I hope that wasn't too disappointing, y'all. Um, I wasn't a super, super fan of a lot of the florals in this sample box, but that I do have a favorite. That's all that matters, okay? I'm getting my full-size bottle. That's all that matters, okay? And yeah, if you like some of the ones that I didn't, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what's your favorite. Let me know what I should try because your girl always wants to try something new. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see y'all in another video. Bye.